Hey YouTube, it's Blackstack here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do the other half of the Dazzle setup on your computer. You're going to want to install your Pinnacle Instant DVD recorder that should have came with your white Dazzle. Once it's installed, you're going to want to go to where you installed it, open it up. Okay. Mine takes forever for some reason. There we go. Okay. So. First, you're going to want to make sure your selected capture source is your Dazzle DVC-100 and it should come up here of what you're playing. Right now I have on Halo 3, as you can see what I'm doing, I'll go into Forge. There you go, it's all pretty, pretty good. So, but if you can't see that, you're going to want to click your options and go make sure this is video composite and make sure this is NTSC. You do not want any of these other ones, it will not work. You need NTSC. And make sure your audio input is also DVC 100, it just helps for your audio and stuff, and then you can set your picture settings. But anyways, so make sure it's that, and it should come up, and there you go. And so now you're going to want to make sure that you're saving it to a hard disk folder. And if you browse, you can go to wherever you're going to save it. I saved it in my Dazzle video, so it made its own little thing. Okay, so. And you do not want to include one of these menus. You do not need it, so just click no, not yes, no. And then you're going to want to go and put in at least, like, 60 minutes, just say. Or, like, 70, whatever. doesn't really matter. It's not going to record for that long. You can start, stop, start, stop, whatever you want to do. Just put in 45 for right now and you're going to want to select the best video quality in order to get, well, the best quality. So, you should be able to start recording. There we go. And now let's see. There we go. This should be good for you to record. So I'll just do a little, little bit of stuff so I have something to actually record. Just, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good enough right now. And click stop recording. Ugh. And should say burning complete. And then it should go into this window where it says, What would you like to do now? You can just exit because so you're all done. And so, the one really weird thing though is that, uh, whoops. When you save it, go to documents, uh, computer, where is it? Videos. Dazzle videos. I'm gonna open this. Okay, why did it save like three? Anyways, it goes for like six different things. Uh, it's, just, it's just like you don't really need it, but don't delete it yet. For some reason, mine's already showable. Okay. Anyways, so you're gonna want to. Uh, I'll uh, put this link in the video description, but you're gonna want to go and download this converter it's pretty good it's all safe so I'll put this link in the description don't worry so you just want to go download now it's a pretty fast download to take like oops just like a few seconds I've already downloaded it so there's no point for me to download it again anyways once it's download uh, you're gonna want to select it and open it and then you're gonna want to click convert video previously downloaded from file. And then you're also going to want to make sure that it's going into a Windows Media file. You don't want any of the other ones. Just Windows Media file, it's a good one. And you go to pick a video. So, why did it take me to documents? Okay. So I'll just go and pick that video that we just did. And also, you're going to want to make sure down here, the FLV files, you're going to want to make it all files so that you can see them. Now this is important, you're going to want to get the VTS underscore 01 underscore 1 file. The other ones, it will not work, it's extremely important that you pick that one, open, there we go, and now when you convert it, it will ask you if you want to do high optimal, well, do high obviously, no one wants any of that, high volume, okay, it only takes, not that long, it just takes a few seconds. 
<sighs> there we go, and this will come up saying it's successful. Go OK, close that. And now the video will be readable, even though there is a new one, so you are able to delete all of the other ones, because you do not need them anymore. Ah, uh, just delete that. And you don't need any of those, just take up space, you don't need them. There, and now you are able to play this, and it's recognizable, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Hope you I helped you, and uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.